Hi, it's Robert Murray. Welcome to this week's Leadership Minute. Continuing on with our theme of culture and creating a culture that helps your business become way more successful. The thing I want to talk about this week is what I call three-dimensional intelligence. Well, there's three different levels of intelligence. The first one is probably the most well-known, which is IQ, or intellectual intelligence. Some, some people will say that you need to have an IQ of 110 or higher in order to be an effective leader. I believe, though, that the more important things are your measure of emotional intelligence. That, that is, your ability to understand how you feel in certain situations, being able to correct or consciously put out your reaction to that, your ability to motivate yourself and others, and your ability to feel empathy for others. The third piece, and one that's not talked about hard labor at all, is what I call clarity intelligence. A leader today who wants to build a great culture needs to really understand clarity and the, the intelligence that comes along with that. And there's three parts to it. The ability to create clarity, so in other words, being able to take something that's confusing, unplanned, unheard of, or even in a crisis, and create clarity for your team. The second element of that is your ability to communicate clarity. How you are able to, multiple times in multiple different ways, whether it's video like this, face-to-face, -face, email, social media, on the telephone, text messaging, whatever that happens to be, create or communicating that clarity on a multiple times basis. And the third one is reinforcing clarity. Every single time you catch your team doing something right, how are you reinforcing that? How are you recognizing that? How are you wrecking or rewarding people? And most importantly, when you do have a plan, how are you constantly checking in on it to see how the plan is going? So those are the three different types of intelligence, IQ, EQ, and CQ. And CQ is all about creating clarity, communicating clarity, and reinforcing clarity. That's it for this week. Thanks very much.